They're not quite the enemy. Right. But they're not with us. They're, they're somewhere in between. I don't know what. And some of the Democrats are pretty good. Like, oh, Lieberman, he was a good Democrat. Right. But there ain't very many of them. I, I just don't get those fucking people. They want to cut, every, they want to cut our throats from the inside out. Yeah. You know? Muslims want to cut our throat from the outside in. They want to do it from the inside out. It's hard to understand what I'm trying to say. No, I, I get you. I don't get the fucking Democrats, man. I just don't get them. They're almost, they're almost the fucking enemy. I mean, every time they to, uh, turn around, they're trying to fuck Bush, you know, make him look fucking bad or somebody bad, you know, you know, anything to fuck Bush, fuck the country, but fuck Bush. If you, if you, if we get Bush and we have to fuck the country, that's okay. That's justified. It seems, it seems like I don't know. I don't get them. And I yeah. used to be a Democrat. I used to be a union electrician. All right, where, where at? Well, I was in Phoenix for a while, and uh -huh. I was in San Francisco, and most people there, there's, there's some fucking real footcake there. Yeah. Dancing in the fucking street, you know. I don't know. They're fucking weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few good ones in Frisco, but there ain't too many people there. I mean, there's, there's some weird fucking motherfuckers there. Just soon. Burn, burn your fucking American flag right behind your car. I've seen everything there. Really? Dragging it down the street, American flag. Yeah. Bastards. Yeah. I've seen them flying it upside down, all over the fucking all, stickers all over the car upside down. You know, dragging American flag is one guy. Yeah. Behind the street, you know, half burnt. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get these people. Just don't fucking get them. As far as I'm concerned, they're, they're just about like the fucking shoe bomber or that motherfucker over there that, that, uh, that went to Al-Qaeda and said he's, uh, he's an American citizen. He's talking for the Al-Qaeda and bad mouth America. All oh, time. right, years ago. No, now. Oh, okay. And they got a fucking big bounty on that motherfucker. They catch him in it. have him in prison for the rest of his life. Yeah. That gave him all these days. Yeah, yeah. They fucking dodge when they'll be right there and thinking he's dodge and that's... Bam. They'll have their arms around him. Just like that other motherfucker... They caught in Pakistan here a while back, a hairy fucking ape looking motherfucker. Yeah. There you go. can only dodge so long. Right. One of these days I'll catch him. Including that fucking Bin Laden. Like a eat that son of a bitch. Yeah, what, what's up with that? You know, they were going to catch that dude. I mean, how long has that been going on? They can send a guy time. to the moon and you can't catch that guy? I understand what you're saying. But they got a fucking place about as big as California. The motherfucker's hiding it. Right. You know? And, it's, and and even the Pakistani government don't go in there. Yeah. It's, it's you know, Muslim country. You know, it's radical Muslim. They don't even go in there. And for some reason, we ain't, we haven't done it. I think we ought to be selfish. I don't know. Then we stir them up even more, you know. Maybe if we fucking just wait for the motherfucker to step out, and then we'll get him. They should send one of these action heroes in, like Chuck Norris or yeah, something, Chuck you know. Norris, yeah. Send Chuck Norris down there. Chuck Norris, yeah. Uh, Bruce Willis or Bruce Willis. Stallone. Yeah. Send these guys down yeah. there, you know. Let's show yeah, They got those guys, too, by the way. There are those people. Yeah. For real. Actual guys. There are people the, like that. The real, the real life dude. They do that once in a while here and there. But if the Democrats find out about it, they fucking just go fucking ape shit, you know? Just like what they're trying to do with them goddamn... I, just, they were slapping these guys around, these Al-Qaeda guys, you know? Yeah. Back and they filmed it. Remember that? Oh, yeah. It's going right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they act like they've, they're the enemy, the people who did this. They're our friends, you know, that were interrogating these people. Yep. You know? And they, they weren't hanging them by their fucking toenails, you know? Right. They were just yelling at them a little harsh. Harshly. What are you supposed to say? Please answer the question. <laughs> oh, is it okay with you and this lawyer? If he answers the question. Well, I have to advise my client not to advise uh, to answer the question. You see what I mean? Yeah. These motherfuckers will blow up your wife, your kids, and your grandma. And don't give a fuck about it. The same people there. And the, and the Democrats, you know. So these guys were yelling at them, you know, hardly. You know, pounding on the table. This one guy slapped the fucking table next to him with his hand. And and they and I don't get it, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. I'm talking about it right now the, in the news. There have been a few weeks ago. They threw away the tapes. They were, they, oh yeah. You know, the CIA. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. CIA yeah. ain't the fucking enemy. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. our buddies. Yep. 
They're, they're out to help, help us. I don't get the Democrats. I mean, they all want to fucking hang it. And every once in a while you get a Republican doing the same shit, too, and I don't get them either. It's a strange world. Yep. See my Volkswagen out front? No, I didn't. Well, you got to walk around and take a look. Where's it at? Up around the corner? Yeah. All right, all right. cool. I'll, I will check that out. Roger Klein and the Peacemaker, huh? Yep. I'm a Peacemaker, too. It's a good thing. Kill them. Make peace. <laughs> There's definitely different ways to do it. You want peace? Kill all the bad people. Yeah. I've sometimes thought that. You know, there's a lot of people out there just come back from Iraq. The guy, the guy that runs the Remax. Yeah. You know, down there, no. He just came back from Iraq. He volunteered to go for two terms there. He's down here working at Remax now. Real estate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So is that Roger Klein a flag burner? A uh, flag burner? Yeah. I don't believe I've ever seen him burn a flag particularly. I don't think he would. Oh, yeah. I don't think he would. I think he's a pretty good dude. Yeah. yeah. His mother lives here in this town somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, they, they have a couple places, I think. I'm not a big fan of you guys, so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Yeah, a country western? What do you guys do? Um, Pop rock or what? <laughs> it's, uh, boy, you know, it's kind of hard to put a finger on explaining the sound of a band's music. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just recorded four, four songs in completely different styles. Mm -hmm. You know, I broke out the Dobro yesterday, and that was cool. Played a little slide. Yeah, it was... R Rosie O'Donnell, that, that fucking fat piece of shit pig, I could slap her in the face, kick her right in the cunt. You know, she says, well, it's like controlled demolition to me. Oh, we're talking about the Twin Towers. Yeah, yeah. Must have been a controlled it. Yeah, right. I think the CIA and, and George Bush did. What a fucking stupid son of a bitch. Well, there's Jane Fonda. Oh, I got to get a picture of that. That's You call that Jane Fonda's the name of that? Jane Fonda limo. That's uh, the from... <laughs> <laughs> the Taco, shut up. The Jane Fonda limo? Yeah, I That's great. Were you going to put Rosie O'Donnell? Yeah, I'm going to put her underneath that, under the limbo there somewhere. Wow, wow, you're hardcore. Do you subscribe to uh, Soldier, Soldier of Fortune magazine by any chance? No, I don't. No? I love it. No? Look at this thing. The Chupacabra. Okay, this this is great. Bring your buddy client by here. I will bring him by here. I'll be sure to tell him not to be burning any flags, though. I didn't say he did. I just asked if he did. Oh, I, I know, I know. Notice the gynecological stirrups on top there? Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Gyne right. Gynecological stirrups? Yep. <laughs> that is just... Ride, see what, what I'm going to say there. It says, ride this, Jane, on the side here. Ride this, Jane. Well, it says on this side here. This is just too much. You have no idea how thrilled I am right now that I'm getting pictures of this. See that? Ride this, Jane. Oh, yeah. Ride this, Jane. Jane Fonda. <laughs> yeah. I got to say, those instructional videos she did a while back were pretty cool, though. Yeah, well, this is was well, you know, a good-looking woman at one time, that's for sure. You know, you know Bob Seger wrote that song, that strut about her? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They love to watch it. Don't go, dad, don't go, don't go, don't go, dad, don't go, don't go, don't go, dad, don't go, dad, don't go, dad, don't Love to watch a strut. Mm -hmm. Love, but they do respect her bud. <laughs> but they love to watch a strut, right? This is Saddam Hussein, by the way. They nailed his ass. That's him. Cool. He's got a nail stuck right through his ass. <laughs> yeah, he does, doesn't he? 
There's the nail, and it is going. You can tell better now. Yeah, it's a nail right through his ass, all right. And then there's Bin Laden. And Bin Laden. How come it's spelled B E N? Ben. No, that's the way I spelled it. That's, yeah, Ben. Bin Laden. Ben Laden. It sounds like a somebody's cousin. Yeah. B ben. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Ben. All right, huh? What was your name again? Ray. Ray. Uh -huh. Steve Larson. Me too, sir. Good to meet you, man. Right. Well, I guess I better go back over and. I guess you probably don't know what this is. Let's see if you know what this is. See if you think. Well, uh, it's, what a, is this? it's a Hummer. Oh, that's a PO. That's a Vietnam. I know exactly right. what that is. Right, good for you. I know exactly what that is. Are you a vet? Yes, sir. Vietnam? Yeah. What's that? It's a Marine sticker. You're a Marine. Right. Good for you. You're a Marine. How long? How long you been out? Oh, many years. Wow. Many years. Wow. But anyway. Oh, well, anyway. This? What's that? All right, there's the United States of America. Right, good. You're doing pretty good. Some yes, people, so some far people, so good. Some people don't even know what that is, and some people don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm I, I like, have a license that? plate like I that, mean, yeah. actually. Yeah, I have some friends that are vets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mm -hmm. grew up with, grew up working with a lot of vets, actually. Good people. Good people. One guy, particularly, uh, Vietnam Mike, mm -hmm. he's a friend of mine, came back and, uh, Dropped him. He came home and he all of a sudden everyone's wearing bikinis and long hair and he, he just he didn't fit in, you know. <laughs> and uh, you know never never did fit in ever again. He lived under a tree over by this place called the Yucca Tap Room and uh, I wrote a song about him called mm -hmm. Vietnam Mike. Oh, really? He was wow. a good he was a good man. He did. Oh yeah, we believe he uh, he calls it uh, quitting. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, that's just his. That's the terminology he, he, he for for, for give. No, they just probably suicide of some type. Mm -hmm. But he would call it quitting. He'd be like, he had a voice like this. He's like, I think he quit. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were friends, you know. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he just yeah. never came back, you know. He was a pool shark and he liked to drink, but he never lived under a tree, man. Mm -hmm. Never never got settled again and, and never got, uh, you know. I, don't, I never got normal again. Yeah, yeah. It was too many. He had too many kills. He was a sniper, and uh, I think it just was. There's too many movies in his head about it, blowing his mind, making it hard to sleep. Not all the beard in the world could erase the pictures in his brain. It's too bad. Yeah. Well, you know, affects everybody in a different way. Mm -hmm. Well, I better roll. Good luck. I, yeah. What do you got there? Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper's Christmas pudding, solid rock foundation right. for it's a benefit for kids. Gets them off the streets. That's cool. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll see you over at the show, huh? Well, I might swing in there. Okay, man. We, uh, play a song for the vets, all right? We'll do. We'll play a song for the vets. You got it.